you know, I met this vampire one time. All right, Halloween 2013 is upon us, and we all know Halloween just isn't Halloween without some sweet country music, right? Yeah, that last sentence was a tough sell, but hey, 30 years worth of strange twists and turns found Palm Spring, California's John McLeod partnering with the Saskatoon-based production house Eyecatcher Video, and the two of them finally bridged the tough gap between country music and the macabre. Roll over, pretty woman. What you're seeing is the music video for McLeod's latest single, Lazy Vampire, which was shot and edited last winter, exploded on YouTube in the spring, and recently found its way into the Broadway theater during Saskatoon's Dark Bridges Film Festival. Great. I love seeing things on the big screen. I was amazed how good the quality of everything looked. Uh, the audience liked it. People seemed to enjoy it. The third night of the film festival was a reunion of the cast and crew who hadn't been in the same room together since that chilly February afternoon in Saskatoon's now abandoned pump house. And the actors gleefully recalled the twisted events of the day. First of all, it wasn't just a cast, like a coffin. It was a custom fitted coffin. If I was to be dead, this is where I would be laying down for the rest of eternity. I didn't want him to die. I was trying to take care of him. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Over the four-day Dark Bridges Film Festival, Lazy Vampire stood out as a crowd favorite, obviously because of its quality and the local ties, but Hugh and his team also represent the ground-level rebuilding of Saskatoon's local film industry after the government's removal of the film tax credit a few years back. Maybe it's going to be a good time now for people that can really work on a shoestring because it's like all the big trees have been mowed down, you know, and now the little ones can maybe get their roots in like our small company. Of course, the story ends like most country songs end, with everyone becoming a vampire. And while obviously a full-on vampire drawing blood from a blonde in a white nighty is the most visual and crowd-pleasing moment of the video, the actors remember shooting that final iconic scene with a little less enthusiasm. When we first bit it, it didn't, it didn't pop. pop at the right time, so I had to hold all that blood inside of my cheek, and a few times it would dribble out just a little bit before the bite. <laughs> but we finally got it right, but there's a few times where just... <laughs> there's a lot of science to blood sucking, I have to tell you, and you will never know until you are a vampire. For Shaw TV in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, I'm Curtis Anderson. Keep going, man. Ah.